Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Patty Behan and today we're going to make this beautiful rainbow card. I did this by using an SVG file and I made a stencil out of it and I'll show you that in the next frame. And I'm also using some Simon Hurley stamps, Dina Wakely Media Paint, and I'm working on the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. So let's get started. Okay, to begin, I have a Wendy Vecchi top folding card. I'm using Cricut stencil vinyl, and this is some transfer tape. And you can't really see the image, but this is what we are going to be painting. And you can use that as a stencil as well. That's just regular white cardstock. And what we have to do first is protect our card while we're painting. So I put a piece of cardstock here, and I'm going to tape it and I cover the back panel of the card. I'm taping it on both sides and then I'm going to secure it with the magnets like so and the first thing I want to do is apply the transfer tape to the top of the stencil. I just line it up like so and I want to make sure it's stuck really well so I'm using a craft scraper and then I want all the stencil pieces to come from the liner tape and then I did cut it down to card size and I should have weeded that first but I'm taking that off right now now we're going to apply the stencil to the card you don't want any of the pieces of the stencil coming out because that's going to be our mask as we paint each section of the rainbow. So let me grab my weeding tool here and I'm going to take out the first section and I think I'm going to save these pieces. I don't know what I'll do with them but maybe I'll use them as a mask another time. And I'm going to start by painting Ruby as my first color. I'll put a little bit on my silicone mat here. I'm using a 3 8 inch flat brush. These are Ranger artist brushes and you want to make sure you have a dry brush when you're doing this. You don't want too much paint. And I think this is a little too wide. I'm going to grab a smaller brush. I'm going to get the round brush that is a number nine and I'm going to finish that up. Okay, rinse off your brush, make sure you dry it off and the next color I'm using is tangerine. We'll put some on the mat again and we'll weed out the next section and go ahead and color that in. And after that's finished, rinse off your brush and now we're going to use lemon and weed out the next section and paint it in. And I wanted to let you know that I used an SVG file from SoFancy and I'll leave a link in the description box below for you. Next is evergreen and same thing. Paint it in. And then we're just going to continue painting in the colors. Next is lapis. And then for the next color, we're going to have to mix our indigo. And to do that, you need two parts blue and one part red. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up until I get the color I like. I want it to take a little more red. And then we'll color that in. Just like so. Rinse off your brush 
take off the next section and we're going to use blackberry. Okay, and once that's done, we'll clean off our brush again and we're going to weed out all of the hearts down at the bottom. And I did adjust the um, image a little bit. There was another heart at the bottom of the rainbow, but I just left it as you see it here. I took it off the others. And we're gonna go ahead and paint these in ruby. And I'm, I went back to my um, flat brush here. And once that's done, we're gonna let it dry. It doesn't take that long, so I'm gonna clean up the mat here. This cleans up really easy. I'm just using um, paper towels and baby wipes. And now we're ready to peel this off. And I was surprised at how easy this peels off. It didn't stick um, to the paper at all. It didn't pull off the paper. So this is really great stencil vinyl to use. And now that that's finished, that came out really great and we're ready to do the stamping. And I'm using Simon Hurley Create Encouraging Words, You Are Perfect Just The Way You Are stamp. I put it on a block and we're going to paint it with black paint. And when you're painting with the stamp, I'm using the blending tool because you don't want to get too much paint on there. And I'm just using my mat as a palette again and I'm kind of just pouncing the paint on there and I haven't tried this before so I'm going to take a piece of cardstock just to see how it stamps out before I do it on my card. Alright, I think that'll work. Let me just clean this again because again you don't want too much paint and I want to make sure that I get all that excess off. And I'm just using a baby wipe and cleaning off the block as well here. And once that's cleaned off pretty good, let's try it again. And tap on some paint. And then get some of that off the block there. Okay, and let's stamp it down. Right here looks good. Make sure we get a nice firm impression. And this time I didn't use quite enough paint, but let's put that in the water so we clean it later. But there is a way that we can fix it. It still wasn't as sharp as an impression as I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Sharpie and we'll fix that, no problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Sharpie marker and color in the places where it didn't stamp out that well. And then to get the um, thinner letters, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fine point marker Sharpie next. So this goes to show that you can always fix up your little boo-boos and nobody will ever know that you did that. This is a great card to give to someone to show them how much you really care about them just because. If you'd like to make this card, I have a full supply list in the description box below. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.